Hello and welcome. What's for dinner? I'll tell you what's for dinner today. I'm gonna to be making albondigas. You guys have been asking me to update my recipe and my kids have been asking me for albondigas. And to be honest, it's been really cold, so it's good soup season. And I'm gonna show you how to make perfect albondigas. I, I barely say that, but these are perfect because they're juicy, they're not gonna fall apart, and the flavor that you're gonna get out of your meatball is amazing. So now that I made us both hungry, let's go over the ingredients. To your ground beef, you wanna add your egg, your cumin, salt and pepper here, and green onion. Now you gotta get your hands dirty. We're gonna go ahead and start mixing all of these wonderful ingredients until you see that each piece of your meat is coated with these ingredients in your egg, okay? I like to grab and squeeze like this because it goes through your fingers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but, friends. It's therapeutic too. Yeah, it really is. I know some of you watched my mukbang albondiga video and yeah, I do get a little bit when the coating of the flour comes in here, I do get like the <laughs> The ickies? The ickies, yes. But you guys um, gave me great feedback on my albondigas, thank you. What kind of feedback did you get? Wonderful feedback. The kids loved it, the family loved it, and it's their go-to albondiga recipe, Ooh. so I'm proud. My mother had and has always made great albondigas, and this is her recipe. Granted, I had to do the measurements, because you guys know how we cook. Um, you just send them un poquito de esto, like put a little bit of this, a little bit of that. You and made it, it comfortable for your own home. <laughs> <laughs> I did. So if you guys have that particular recipe where your mom says un poquito de esto, un poquito del otro, you understand where I'm coming from. And giving Mexican recipes is not an easy thing to do, friends. Because tweaking the recipe for a lot of people, I don't know. I went with it. <laughs> 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 that shouldn't take you more than about a minute to do. And then you want to go ahead and add your flour. Okay. Depending on how juicy your meat and your egg is, you're gonna need between two to three uh, tablespoons of uh, all-purpose flour is what I'm using. You guys are gonna say, Steph, where's the rice? My family prefers it on the side, but if you guys want, uh, you can substitute your all-purpose flour for rice. And I'll leave a suggested amount in the description area along with the rest of the measurements for the ingredients. You see, it just got sticky. That's see. what we need because that's what's gonna keep our meatballs nice, juicy, and they're not gonna fall apart, okay? Now it's time to get started on our meatballs. And you're gonna make the meatballs as big as you want. See, I like to make them a little bit smaller because uh, that way you get more meatballs and the kids can eat it too, you know? I agree. When we were little, my mom made big meatballs. <laughs> <laughs> she wanted to feel uh, her teenagers. Yeah. I like pressing it in a little bit sometimes because that way you get that, that good meatball. Nothing's going to come out. And I don't create all of them the same. There really is not that big of a technique for making meatballs. You kind of just have to make sure that the ingredients you placed in here don't make your ground beef fall apart once it hits the soup. And pretty much, you guys, this is a guaranteed meatball recipe. Okay, so I'm just gonna continue to make our meatballs and I'll see you guys so that we can start sauteing on, on the pan and get closer to some albondigas. My pot's on a medium heat and I'm drizzling some oil. My preference today is canola oil, but you make it comfortable for your home. I know a lot of you watch your cholesterol and you have your oils that you're comfortable with. Roll with that. Add your tomatoes, your onions. Sounds like the church bell. Girl. Or the come and get it, dinner's ready. Come and get it. That's the kind of girl I am. <laughs> we really just want to saute our tomatoes until they're really soft and mushy, okay? Because that's what's going to give our broth the best flavor in the whole world. Come and get it. Come and get it. Okay, we're having too much fun. That's it. I'll be gentle. I 
I'm going to continue to saute these ingredients for about three to four minutes. And um, in the process, you want to make sure that you're stirring, you know, mixing it around so that nothing's sticking periodically. So hang tight. My tomatoes are nice and mushy. It's been about four minutes. And if you can use your cooking spoon and you can push it down, you know, just tap on them and then they fall apart. Then you're ready to add our next ingredient, which is our Anaheim bell peppers. For a wonderful flavor, I like to use Anaheim bell peppers, but I know that some of you live in areas where you don't have access to that. But whenever you get a chance, use an Anaheim, but if you don't, you can use a poblano. It changes the flavor of your albondigas, but it's still good. And also you can use the green bell peppers. You kind of have to stay within the range of like the green bell pepper and, you know, adjust. Make it comfortable for your home. You're going to be okay. But are you sure we're going to be okay? You're going to be okay because the broth is the broth that you want is going to be delicious and that's what makes this soup so wonderful. You have a tender uh, meatball and a delicious broth, especially right now that it's really, really cold all over the states. So, this meat. Don't be scared of that nice crust at the bottom. That's what you want because it's what's going to give this uh, broth a delicious flavor. Those are just the sugars from your tomato that made that nice, delicious crust at the bottom. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and add some hot water because you guys know I use the kettle and it gets it done within a minute. Now I'm going to go ahead and add the water. I'm adding hot water and this is going to cook uh, my albondigas a lot faster. So if you guys are adding cold water to this, it might take you a little bit longer. You can saute your garlic with your broth, but since I got too excited talking to you guys, I you know, got ahead of myself, but go ahead and add your garlic. So once you've added your water, you want to add your chicken bouillon. I'm going to bring this pot to a boil before we add our meatballs. So just hang tight. It's going to take me about three minutes. We've just reached a boil. Now I'm going to go ahead and add my albondigas, my meatballs, gently, okay? So just drop them like they're hot and be gentle. You don't want them to splash because if you drop them from way up here, it's going to splash all over you. So. Be brave and also be very careful. Girl, this pot is so much fun to put the albondigas in. <laughs> it's your playground. Yeah, it is. You know what I do because I don't want to put my fingers in there directly. You put it on the spoon? I put it on the spoon and then drop it down. <laughs> All right, let's do Cloud's method, guys. You want to know how Cloud cooks? I'm a disgrace, I know, but... No? That's You're cautious. Do. You don't like to get burned. No, I really don't. It happened to me once, and that was enough. There we go. Or you can do it that way. It's going to be up to you guys. You guys know I'm from a rancho, so... <laughs> I'm okay with that. I'm going to continue to cook our albondigas for about 10 to 15 minutes at a medium heat, and then we're going to come in at that time and add the last of our ingredients so that we can get started on this delicious soup. I get asked frequently certain things in my kitchen and there's one thing that I recently purchased that I'm absolutely in love with that I want to share with you because I also want to use things that's accessible to us and that's durable and I found these little spice containers and you can add your frequently used spices I still I haven't decided what I'm gonna place in this one but right here I have my tomato nor chicken bouillon my natural chicken bouillon my black pepper just so that you guys can get an idea, let me go on the next little rack and show you guys what I placed in it. I have my garlic powder, onion powder, ground cumin, and white pepper. And what I really love about this particular uh, gadget, is this a gadget? It would, be a gadget. <laughs> it would be a gadget, right? That you can stack it up. So whether you want to put it in your cabinet or just keep it on your counter, I love especially for Mexican cuisine because you know how we cook. Like when I'm not on the channel, I kind of just sprinkle it and eyeball it, but I don't know. You guys are changing the way that I do things and I love it. So if you guys are interested in these, uh, check out our Amazon store link. And if you have a difficult time, come to the most recent videos and that one has the accurate one. Sometimes it just, it does things to us, but I wanted to share this little gadget and look, you want to take it out? <laughs> you oh, can nice. take it out. So. Easy to clean, boom, done. All right, let's go check on our albondigas. It's been 10 minutes for me and my meatballs are about, I wanna say 75 to 80% done and that's when you wanna add your potatoes. Cause your potatoes, once you chop them up, they're gonna cook a lot faster. And depending on how hot your pot gets, um, the cook time is anywhere between 12 to 15 minutes. 
and you definitely don't want to overdo it. Once you've added your potatoes, you're gonna wait about eight to 10 minutes before we add the remaining ingredients because what you don't wanna do is you don't wanna end up with mushy zucchini or a mushy carrot. You want those to be kinda of al dente, but to have like a bite to it. At least that's how my family enjoys it, but then again, it's gonna be up to you. So uh, hang tight while we get to that. <laughs> now it's time to add the remaining ingredients. So I'm gonna be adding my zucchinis. and the carrots. Stir that gently. How beautiful are these meatballs? Look at that. They're gorgeous, right? Oh, it smells so good in here. We did good, friends, we did good. I'm gonna go ahead and continue to cook all of these ingredients for five minutes, and I'll see you guys shortly. We like to enjoy our albondigas with a bowl of rice on the side, so make sure you make some nice, delicious you know, you guys like seeing my rice, so. Let's some fluffy go. rice? Some fluffy rice. Your rice is always fluffy. <laughs> it is. It really is. But nobody wanted to listen to the techniques. Okay, maybe three people listen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it works, friends. All right, friends. We are ready. Everything is well cooked. If you see the zucchinis, I like to turn my pot off when they look like this, a little pale, because my pot will continue to cook these while I get ready to serve my family. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave them here, but on your end, if you're gonna serve them right out of the pot, cook them just maybe about two, three more minutes, okay? And our last ingredient we're gonna be adding is our cilantro, just like that. <laughs> Stir it in, okay? Oh my goodness, I am so excited for some meatballs. You guys want me to cut into a meatball? Yeah, let's, yeah, do, let's it. do it. I want to show you guys. These are really, really tender. Let's take this one over here. Juicy and beautiful. Soft for the kids to bite into. It's not a tough one. It's juicy. It's tender. How many meatballs do you want in your soup? Uh, just two. Two? No, girl. Three's my favorite number. Why? My daughter's name is Trinity. I've always liked the number three. It's such a beautiful name. You did really good, sis. Thank you. Thank you. And there's three of us. I'm proud of you as a mother. <laughs> <laughs> It's time for me to feed my family. I want to thank you guys so much for joining me today. Don't forget to subscribe. Click the bell for notifications because we're almost at 300,000 subscribers. Bless your guys' heart. And on that one, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Adios.